We came to an enormous cavern. We came to an enormous cavern that was big enough to swallow the whole capital of Ave, Veravik. In its center were two gently glowing objects. It was a source of divine wisdom. It was Razael's tree. Fight me, X Death! Okay, am I supposed to move? And what's with all the blue lines in uh, the middle? And the cavern itself was a giant computer called Razel. Cavern itself was a giant computer. Huh. Looks like uh, with improvements in technology, our computers got smaller and smaller and then suddenly just started getting bigger and bigger. The wisdom of God. Hidden within Razel, we found the unthinkable when we accessed its data. What's that? Human research? A large unmanned strategic weapon and its battalion of terminal interface weapons. Traveling from star system to star system and a gargantuan and a gargantuan mothership used to carry them. The creation of the Malak Angel, God's army to reign over the vast universe with, and the construction of a divine ark. These weapons were called Yabe. Yabe, the Interplanetary Invasion Weapon System. What the Gazel Ministry was pursuing was right here. I wish the text stood out more clearly from the background. According to the data, the giant rotting organism we just defeated was in fact the nucleus of the system. That thing was a robot. We were on the verge of accessing the data for the object called Zohar. I've heard that one before. Yeah, 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 I remember. Someone said, may Zohar be with you. So I guess Zohar is uh, the god of this uh, universe. We are on the verge of accessing the data of the object called Zohar. The central neural circuit and power source controlling the entire system. Just didn't have to get wrecked. Well, you just missed a boss fight where I thought I was gonna get wrecked, but uh, somehow made it through. The central neural circuit and power source controlling the entire system, from the weapons to the mothership. Neural circuit. When suddenly he appeared. Ah, uh, the hidden data from Razael's tree. Move away from there. This matter is far too weighty for the likes of you. Well, streamers died to do this because they weren't even paying attention to what was going on. I mean, I was going to be one of them, but uh, I was just like, just in time, he used his uh, HP, HP half move. And uh, after that, I managed to figure out what we are supposed to do. Because, because we can't even do 16,000 damage, can we? This matter is far too weighty for the likes of you. We must protect it with our lives. We can't let them have the Razel data. Hey, who's that? Bahamut! You handle them. I will try and extract as much data as I am able to. Uh, can we trust Saiten on this? I think we can. If anything goes wrong, I will destroy this place. Uh, yeah, right. Didn't you hear that it was 40 Celts across? I think I think this thing is indestructible. It survived uh, uh, a meteor meteoric journey. Literally a meteoric journey. Huh. I must admit, I did not expect this. 
A huge weapon system. So are we fighting Zohar? This is the central alpha alpha Veltol. Uh excuse me? That thing just did 20,000 HP of damage. Also, where is Saiten? Damn it, Saiten! Uh, shit, man. We can't outheal that. And how exactly did he get two attacks? I don't think we're supposed to win this fight. Zero damage. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to win this fight. Alpha Veltol. Wait, what? Zero damage. Four thousand damage. Okay. So maybe we are supposed to win this. But how the hell do I do damage to him then? Uh. Okay. Looks like we got uh, max fuel. You can win this fight, but it still moves on to the plot if you lose it. I don't know how the hell I can win this fight, but let's just go with the standard strategy. Wonder how much HP he's got. We cannot, we cannot out heal that kind of damage. If he uses that uh, 20,000 uh, damage attack again, flaming hell. We need a very specific setup to win. Okay, fuck that then. I'm not gonna win this. Let's just. Uh... So this is this is like a mega weapon. Is it? Zero damage. Somehow we are evading everything. But when he does get a hit in, he does 9999 damage. Are we evading because of our evasion rings? Maybe I should have had uh, more magnetic coats on. Okay. It's just Graf giving an educational beatdown. <laughs> so he's he's on an uh, alpha belt all, huh? Oh my god. Right. Well, let's see how much damage we can do. Uh, let's set a boost of us. If hopefully we can we can outspeed him. We can outheal that kind of damage, but do I even want to? We got booster. Uh, let's set up system eat and see how much damage we are we can do with death blows. It's gonna be Alpha Veltol against Super Saiyan Veltol. Holy sh! Never mind. Never mind. We wasted all of my time in setup. But I guess a very specific setup you mean is just having as much evasion as possible. Because we can definitely evade here. But we cannot tank that kind of damage. Uh, uh. Bart and Billy. Oh, Wild Smile, right. And why Billy though? What does he have? I guess he's got haste and stuff. I guess that's all you can take for now. Wild Smile and he's just whip that uh, shuts off Ether Machine. Uses his whip that shuts off Ether Machine. Does he have a whip like that? I didn't realize that his whips could do status damage. I think that's all you can take for now. Are you frustrated? But that is only natural. After all, you are imperfect. Well, I Billy Sperm Jesse Cannon and you draw the Death Charge. That does shit damage though. Imperfect? Yes. You are lacking now. The absence of wrath is an impediment to you utilizing your true strength. R wrath The drive to massacre and annihilate. The compulsion to destroy your opponent. Such wrath is power for the soul. By eliminating your foe, you attain your first sublimation of that drive. It is this very sublimation that draws out the hidden powers within oneself. But clinging to reason 
Do damage cap with ether doubles and power magics. I see. Suppressing your wrath and desire makes releasing your true power a dream within a dream. You already know this. But wrath appeared in your heart. Prepare my turn to what I'm doing. It was not fair. The machine responded, did it not? Did it though? What is he talking about? Oh yeah, when he when he just completely lost it. I guess he's talking about the times when Welt all transformed into that uh, red gear. What drew out such power from your machine was truly the drive of your soul. It was your eat. The sign of the purpose you've been seeking. The mark of a natural born assassin. You're wrong! That's absolutely untrue! I... I am not eat! I... The time has come. I'll take your soul and draw its power out to the limit! Enough! Huh. What are you stopping me for? He is bait. If you kill the bait, the precious bird we wish to capture will fly away. You know, a very important bird needs to fulfill my earnest desire. You understand, don't you, Lakan? Suit yourself. We shall crucify them in the land of Golgoda to the west of here. Collect all the broken gears. 